Hello, today I got new measuring tool from Banggood. It's mass tool MT336 clamp tool with oscilloscope function. In the box we got measuring cleats, carrying belt, temperature measuring probe, clamp meter into carrying bag and manual. Measuring leads are consumables, even expensive ones. I buy some Chinese leads, but that one seems a bit better. Cable insulation is strong, but still soft enough for comfort work. K-type temperature probe seem a bit cheapy. Wire insulation look like make out of paper, and it's not suitable for measures liquid. Carrying bag seem quite strong. I just missed separate area inside for measuring cleats. And now check the clamp meter a bit closely. First thing I notice is that the spring on clamp is really soft and the meter itself is lightweight. On bottom we got steel pit between the housing to install carrying belt. Plastic housing is good, but not great. It got extended attached around so we don't scratch the display which is quite exposed. I missed some rubber on housing to prevent scratches, but to be honest that meter cost about 50 bucks. To install battery remove the cover screw, which also hold the housing together. It need 3 AA batteries. Battery slot is a bit shorty, so there need a bit of force to install and the screwdriver to remove them, but it's not the first device I got with that problem. Now the device reached the real weight. Bottoms sing good and nicely respond, we clearly feel when we push them. Display are nicely visible, but only when the backlight is on, and the main digits are big enough for comfort reading. Let's try to make a few measures now. I will not explain you how to assess all the functions, because honestly, this is one of best manual I got with Chinese product. We got clear instructions for every type of measures and its of functions. But if I expose just few of them anyway, let's start on beginning. When we push on off button, we can see its mode for a second. Basic the auto power is on and quiet mode is off. That means that meter will turn off itself after 50 minutes if there is no operation and the speaker isn't muted. We can change that with the pressing hold or sell button during turning on. Auto power off is great function to save on battery, but the mute function isn't that great. Instrument make lot of unnecessary beeps, like on startup, pushing on buttons, every time we measure dangerous high voltage it beeps and so on. Quite annoying. But if I turn on mute function, here on display appear crossed speaker, but then there's no single beep, also when we use connectivity function. After turning on we are into DC auto range voltage mode. By pressing cell button we can switch between AC, DC or frequency measurement. With pushing range mode we can switch from auto range to different manual range. For measure resistance, diodes, capacitors and connectivity push low middle button. Also here with range button switch between auto range and manual range and with cell button switch between the functions. And with lower third button we switch between current and temperature measurement. When we're into voltage or current mode we can assess to oscilloscope mode with hold this button. But we need to be careful that choose the right mode, AC or DC into voltage mode. In any mode we can use rail button, it's like Tara on weight gauge, to compare measurements and see the differences easily. In oscilloscope mode only time base can be increased or decreased and some value are a bit strange displayed, like here 0.050 kHz instead of just 50 Hz. Good use of relative function is for checking the LiPo cells. Just measure first cell then press rel and you'll see the difference between other two, positive or negative. While measure we can see on bottom line how far we are into selected range. If we are into auto range it extend range automatically, otherwise start beeping. Backlight turn off automatically after 60 seconds if don't push any button. Here you can see it become hard to read without backlight, but can be turned on with a single press. Capacity can be measured up to 4000 microfarads and it's a bit misleading because it's shown as micro, micro and millifarad. Basic unit for capacity is microfarad, but it's shown as 2.2 millifarad instead of 2200 microfarad. 
With long pressing hold button we can save measure in any mode. 100 measures can be saved and compared. In this menu still can see the currently measure. Package of probe says it's suitable for up to 204 degrees Celsius. Manual of meter says it's up to 250 degrees Celsius. I tried to heat up with the lighter and didn't see the problem up to 800 degrees Celsius. And best function of that meter is clamp for contactless current measure. You know that we can't measure current on the cable because income and outcome current are same and show as zero. That's why we need to measure on separate wire. It's so fast and easy to check the current of each consumer. If you can see on display, simply press hold button to read the value. There is also super usable relative value function to see the difference between current on each face of the motor. Here I got professional fluke clamp meter I use on my job. I don't want to compare them, because it's 5 times more expensive. Just make a quick look on both of them. On first touch we can feel the difference into housing quality. Even if the Fluke uses only two batteries, it still weight more than mass tool, just because of housing. I don't own professional measuring tool to check accuracy of measures, but as I compare with calibrated Fluke meter, I get quite the same result. And if we look inside, we can see this. Circuit look quite good quality, easily compared to the Fluke one. That's about it. As I say, I got no tools and knowledge to test them into details. But for the price I think it's a great choice for home hobby use. But that mass tool clamp meter got one huge cons. It can't measure DC current. But that function raised the price quite a lot, so need to understand. I was looking for a clamp meter like this for a while, just for measure the current on induction motors. But with that can check also some signal, even if I don't know much about scopes. It's small to carry around and what I really like on that type of meters is that the clamp isn't just for measure, but also can be hooked up almost anywhere. For more information, price and order, check for the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.